ਸੋ ਹੈ ਗਾਇਸ ਕੀ ਹਾਲ ਚਾਲ ਹੈ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਫਲੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਵਧੀਆ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਅਸੈਸੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਮੂਸੇਵਾਲਾ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਸਟੂ ਪੈਕ ਬਾਹਰ ਲੇ ਇੱਕ ਮੁੰਡੇ ਨੇ ਟ੍ਰੈਪ ਲੋ ਰੋਸ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਗੋਰਾ ਹੈ ਉਹਨੇ ਬਣਾਈ ਹੈ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਤੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਟ੍ਰੈਂਡ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਤੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਕਾਫੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਆਏ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਬਈ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਤੇ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਕਰੋ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਚਲੋ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਬਾਕੀ ਗਾਇਸ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪੂਰੀ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਆਪਾਂ ਪੂਰੀ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਦੇ ਕਲੈਕਟ ਕਰੀਏ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਕਰ ਦਾਂਗੇ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਸਟਾਰਟਿੰਗ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਦੇ ਬਰਥ ਪਲੇਸ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਦਾ ਸਾਰਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਦਿਖਾਇਆ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਫਿਰ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਨੇ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਲਾਈਕ ਚੇਂਜ ਕੀਤਾ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀ ਨੂੰ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਫਿਰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਵਸਿਸ ਕਰਨ ਬੀਫ ਫਿਰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਸਿੱਧੂਜ਼ ਐਂਟਰੀਜ਼ ਇਨ ਪੋਲਿਟਿਕਸ ਕੰਟਰੋਵਰਸ਼ੀਅਲ 뮤직 ਆਫ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਸਿੱਧੂਜ਼ ਗੈਂਗਸਟਿੰਗ ਗੈਂਗਸਟਰ ਲਾਈਫਸਟਾਈਲ ਆਫ ਲਾਈਕ ਗਨ ਕਲਚਰ ਐਂਡ ਆਲ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਗੈਂਗਸ ਆਫ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਬੰਬੀਹਾ ਵਰਸਸ ਬਿਸ਼ਨੋਈ ਗਰੁੱਪ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਉਹਦੀ ਪੂਰੀ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਗੋਰੇ ਨੇ ਫਿਰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਫਾਰਮਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਸਟ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਦੇ ਲਾਈਫ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡਾ ਇੱਕ ਰੋਲ ਨਿਭਾਉਂਦਾ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਵਰਗੇ ਗਾਣੇ ਉਦੋਂ ਆਏ ਨੇ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਦੇ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਸੱਜੂ ਗਾਣਾ ਵੀ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਉਸੇ ਟਾਈਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਜਾਏ ਜਾਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਚ ਬਾਅਦ ਚ ਆਏ ਥੋੜਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਫਿਰ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਦਾ ਆਫਿਸ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਪੂਰਾ ਦਾ ਪੂਰਾ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਉਹ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਆਂਦਾ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਦੀ ਮਰਡਰ ਦੀ ਕਹਾਣੀ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਫਿਰ ਹਾਊ ਸਿੱਧੂਜ਼ ਡੈਥ ਚੇਂਜ ਦ ਹਿਪ ਹੌਪ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਮੈਂ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰੂੰਗਾ ਕਿ ਆਪਾਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਪੂਰੀ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਇਸੇ ਚ ਕਵਰ ਕਰ ਦਈਏ ਨਹੀਂ ਤਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਦੋ ਪਾਰਟ ਬਣਾ ਦੂੰਗਾ ਇਹਦੇ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਕਾਫੀ ਵੱਡੀ ਆ ਇਸੀ ਬਾਰੇ ਗੱਲ ਵੀ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਬਾਰੇ ਸਮਝਣਾ ਵੀ ਪਏਗਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੁਝ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਕੁਝ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਨਵੀਆਂ ਦੇਖਣ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲਣ ਹਨਾ ਲੈਟਸ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਦਾ ਮਰਡਰ ਆਫ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਮੂਸੇ just days after the release of his song levels there was a sudden announcement that india's aap government had implemented a new law on the 27th of may the party had mysteriously revoked sidhu muswala's personal security team due to a new law aiming to stop vip treatment this cut removed the security of 424 prominent personalities in india including politicians retired police officers and religious leaders the government widely okay theek hai matlab gore ne gal siddhi kiti hai pura research karke hai na ਸਮਝ ਆ ਰਹੀ ਹੋਊਗੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿ ਆਮ ਆਦਮੀ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਨੇ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਸਿਕਿਉਰਿਟੀ ਹਟਾਈ ਸੀਗੀ ਨਵਾਂ ਲਾਅ ਲਿਆ ਕੇ ਤੇ 400 424 ਵੀਆਈਪੀਸ ਦੀ ਸਿਕਿਉਰਿਟੀ ਹਟਾਈ ਗਈ ਸੀ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਤੇ ਆਨਲਾਈਨ ਇਹ ਵੈਸੇ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦੱਸਣੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਪਰ ਦੱਸੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਪਲੀ ਪਬਲਿਸਾਈਜ਼ ਥਿਸ ਮੂਵ ਕਾਲਿੰਗ ਇਟ ਅ ਸਟੈਪ ਟੂਵਰਡਸ ਐਂਡਿੰਗ ਵੀਆਈਪੀ ਕਲਚਰ ਮੈਨੀ ਆਈਆਈਪੀ ਲੀਡਰਸ ਆਲਸੋ ਸ਼ੇਅਰਡ ਔਨ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਦ ਨੇਮਸ ਆਫ ਦ 424 ਪੀ ਓਕੇ ਹਾਂ ਮਨਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਰ ਸੌਰੀ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਇੰਨੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਸੈਂਸਿਟਿਵ ਸੈਂਸਿਟਿਵ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਡਾਕੂਮੈਂਟ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਆਨਲਾਈਨ ਲੀਕ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਠੀਕ ਆ ਕਿ ਮਤਲਬ ਇੰਨੇ ਬੰਦਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀ ਸਿਕਿਉਰਿਟੀ ਹਟਾਈ ਆ ਕੁਝ ਪੋਲਿਟੀਕਲ ਲੀਡਰਸ ਨੇ ਕੁਝ ਕਲਾਕਾਰ ਸੀਗੇ ਕੁਝ ਆਪਣੇ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਸ ਬੰਦੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਹਨਾ ਜਥੇਦਾਰ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਈ ਸੀਗੇ ਠੀਕ ਆ ਕਈ ਤਖਤਾਂ ਦੇ ਕਈ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਮਤਲਬ ਉਸ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਾਫੀ ਕੁਝ ਕੀਤਾ ਪਰ ਇਹ ਚੀਜ਼ ਬਾਹਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਆਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਭਾਈ ਸਾਡੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੁੰਦਾ people affected so not only had they removed the security of a number of high risk people likely with serious threats against them but they then told the whole world that these people no longer had security mm. the government pretty much gave the drop on sidhu this security removal left sidhu vulnerable and unprotected to imminent threats Welcome. essentially leaving him to fend for himself and just two days after this law was implemented one of the darkest days in modern punjabi history would strike as sidhu muswala would finally be caught by his enemies the day started like any other sidhu was in his hometown of
just 10 minutes before he was gunned down. The images show the informants of gangsters taking selfies near Musewala's Thar SUV and then in a very clandestine fashion tipping off gangsters awaiting to pull the trigger. The informants told gangsters that Musewala had left his home. After the tip-off over Musewala's movement, the killers had started tailing Musewala. The contract killers used two cars, a Bolero SUV and a Corolla sedan, mm. to gun down the singer. At this point, the members of the gang were aware that he had no security and no bulletproof vehicle. The member that spotted Sidhu outside of his home would allegedly dial up a team of nearby shooters, giving them the go-ahead to pursue the car, the Mahindra Thar SUV that they identified Sidhu would be driving in. A group of <laughs> कि जेड़े दो है गए ही गए वो गाने में ना ना ले जाना या ना जाना बैठ जाना पता कि ये इंसान नू पता नहीं होता कि और वो कैसे वास्ते कितना इम्पोर्टेंट हो सकता किसे ठीक है पर अब तो उतना हजारा लक्खा लुक्का वास्ते इम्पोर्टेंट है यार the assailants, allegedly were in touch with Goldie Bra and other affiliates of the Bishnoi gang, had apparently been tracking Sidhu's location for days and would follow him in a two-car convoy. They followed behind mm. Sidhu from his village until the SUV eventually entered Jahak. The group of hitmen were traveling in a Toyota Corolla and a white Bolero SUV. The shooters would use fake license plates on their vehicles, clearly showing that the attack was planned out and they wished to cover their tracks. Soon after entering the village, Sidhu approached a sharp bend around eight kilometers from his aunt's house, where the shooters quickly sped up to get close to Sidhu's car. And just after turning out of sight from the CCTV camera, the shooters in the white Corolla followed closely behind and opened fire. Mm. The first shots reportedly hit the rear end of Sidhu's car, to which he returned fire from his licensed pistol. According to the two passengers in the car, Sidhu stuck to his warrior persona and managed to shoot back at the assailants with his pistol, but ultimately, this wouldn't be enough to save his life. After the shootout between Sidhu and the occupants of the Corolla, the Bolero SUV overtook Sidhu's car and the occupants began firing at him with automatic weapons, and the shooters would fire 30 shots indiscriminately into Sidhu. <laughs> Sidhu's car, specifically with an AN-94 rifle, which are pretty rare in Punjab. Around 19 bullets would... Pretty rare, ki bro, hai hi nahi. AN-94 to si lea hi nahi sakde. AK-47 al ki ban, 94 ki mein lea ho gaya. Planned, bohut ganda planned ho si gaya. Hit Sidhu in his head, legs, abdomen and chest, with shots even piercing his lungs and his liver. Both Sidhu's cousin and neighbor were injured in the attack, but most bullets were directed at Sidhu personally. The others were quickly taken to hospital, but Sidhu's wounds had already proved fatal on the scene. A later autopsy report would find that Sidhu had died within 15 minutes of the attack, but to make matters worse, immediately after the shooting stopped, residents of the village would come out to investigate the commotion, arriving to witness a shocking sight no one would have ever expected. The country's biggest gangster rapper, a nearly politician, riddled with bullets all throughout his body and no security in sight. Soon, Harrowing videos will begin to circulate online of people who had arrived at the scene filming Sidhu covered in bullet holes. Heartbreakingly, even his sacred turban was removed by bystanders who were trying to hold up his lifeless body. Almost immediately, news of Sidhu's murder would spread like wildfire and was reported to masses in India and all over the world. The chief minister of police would take to Twitter to share that none of the perpetrators of this crime would be spared, but the same question would be heard all over the world. Why would anybody do this? In such a brash daylight attack, India's most prolific star was gunned down, with this being broadcast for the whole world to see. The very same day, police believed they had a lead. Police chief VK Bara made a statement blaming a Canada-based gangster. Sidhu family immediately pushed back against the police's comments as they believed it linked Sidhu unfairly to gangs and organized crime. They believed that there was more to the merciless assassination than just a mere display of gang warfare, as Sidhu's family believed that the police had quickly tried to piece together a story without properly investigating. The next day, the chief of police was made to clarify his statement and specify that he never said Sidhu was a gangster or had any specific affiliations. But the chief of police was correct, as just one hour after Sidhu's murder, it was clear where to point the finger. Goldie Bra, associate of Lawrence Bishnoi and prominent member of the Bishnoi gang, made a post to Facebook essentially claiming direct responsibility for the murder. Goldie was the original friend of Lawrence Bishnoi and was the man that was shooting at his rivals in the college elections. Goldie, real name Satin Durjit Singh, made a post claiming that he had put the hit out on Sidhu and outlined his exact reasoning for the Okay. this. In the post, he would claim that Sidhu had been involved in the murders of three of his friends, suggesting that the police had been protecting him because of his fame and power. The post roughly translates to this. I, along with Sashim Bishnoi, Dataramwali, Lawrence Bishnoi group, take responsibility for the killing of Sidhu Muswala. His name came up in connection with the murder of Vicky, Midakera, and Gul Albra, and despite this, the police did nothing. Now this post would show that Sidhu Muswala had in fact been placed into the centre of a gang rivalry and was indeed murdered as a plot to avenge another murdered politician, Vicky Midakera. Vikramjit Singh, 
aka Vicky Medicara, was a youth Akali Dal leader. This is a Sikh-centric political party within India and is the second oldest party after Congress. Vicky was a resident of Midakira village in Bathinda district and just like Sidhu Musawala, he used the name of his village as his surname. He would eventually move to Chandigarh to pursue his college education where he attended the DAV college. Mm. Sources say that he had supported Lawrence Bishnoi during his run when he was contesting as a student leader of students' organizations of Punjab University mm. at DAV college. Now Vicky had no criminal history other than a first information report registered against him at Chandigarh police station in 2020. Vicky was actually named as a member of the Bishnoi gang and he was alleged to have been providing logistics supports to some of the members. These affiliations may well have cost Vicky his life as on the 7th of August 2021 Vicky Midakira was shot dead in a broad daylight assassination that was caught on surveillance camera. Vicky, aged 33 at the time, was entering his car when two masked shooters approached from the left side unloading their pistols into him at close range. Initially, Vicky runs out of sight from the cameras where he's then followed and shot dead right by the wall of a local community center. Mm -hmm. This would explain his connection to Goldie Bra and a clear motive to kill Sidhu as vengeance for this murder. But many people were confused as to why Sidhu was specifically targeted in this incident. One explanation could be Sidhu's affiliation to their rivals, the Bambiya gang. As shortly after Vicky's murder, the Bambiha gang had taken full responsibility for the killing. And as mentioned, earlier in 2020, Sidhu had released that song with singer Amrit Man, Bambiha Bol, a song praising the the Bishnoi's main ops that was seen as nahi 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 bro ithe tusi gal to bambiha bole ik boli aa punjab di bambiha bole theek hai us tarike naal te oh mere hisab naal ohde naal connected nahi si ga sara sanu vi behind the storyan inne tarike naal nahi pata hegiyan theek hai but mere hisab naal ta nahi si yaar oh us cheez naal connected nahi si ga te fir je hega vi si te fir like sirf sara action siddhu de gaya ਅਮਰਤ ਮਾਨ ਤੇ ਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਕਿਉਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਇਆ ਕੁਝ ਵੀ ਮਤਲਬ ਅਮਰਤ ਮਾਨ ਨੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੇ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿਉਂ ਹਨਾ escalating the rivalry. Here he is directly referencing the enemies of the Bambia gang, saying that he will break their bones and referring to murder. The song itself was believed to have had a deeper meaning, paying tribute to the slain gangster Davinder Bambia that started the gang. Lawrence Bishnoi at the time was jailed in Delhi's Tihar prison, and he's actually been in prison since 2017 due to various cases. But it appears that he's still been calling shots from behind bars, as during an interrogation with the police, he would apparently shed light onto the motive in Sidhu's murder, as he was called in for an interview after Sidhu was killed. Bishnoi himself believed that Moosewala had provoked the gang through his lyrics eulogizing their rivals e gal hor ve sochne wali hai na ke is cheez bare vi vese gal dekhde agge jaake gora karda ke nahi karda ke jail cho koi live kive ho sakde jail cho koi interview kive de sakda the bambi ha gang with his song lawrence bishnoi said that with that song bambi a bowl sidhu had dared them to attack him in the open however the issue runs even deeper than these affiliations and that song as after vidhi midakera was murdered the police had named one of Sidhu's managers, Shaganpreet Singh, as a main conspirator in the murder. One month after Sidhu was killed, Shaganpreet was seeking protection from the courts due to threats made against him by the Bishnois and Goldi Bra too. In response to his application, the Punjab police claimed that there was sufficient evidence that places Sidhu's manager as the main conspirator in Vicky Mudakira's murder. Allegedly, Shaganpreet Singh had met with two others at a Sikh temple and asked them to carry out the murder of Vicky Mudakira. The shooters also claimed that Shaganpreet arranged for them to stay at his flat in Karar. However, it was found by the investigative agent there was no further corroborative evidence that showed any communication between Shanganpri and the co-accused. Furthermore, Shanganpri added that he has no connection with the Bambia gang, claiming that he's been targeted for no reason. But coincidentally, soon after Midakera's murder, Shaganpri had fled to Australia. But regardless of Shaganpri's involvement, that murder plot was very extensive. The hit was called from several members and associates of the Bambia gang, like Lucky Patial, who was behind bars in an Armenian jail, apparently sending a message to another fugitive named Gandhi, who was on the run in Malaysia. Gandhi had planned and organized the hit, providing weapons and logistical support. And to this day, that case is still unsolved and has never gone to trial, likely due to the fact that the main perpetrators are all locked away in various foreign prisons. But regardless, Goldie Bra and the Bishnoi gang felt betrayed by the system and felt that Mudakira's murder went unpunished. So they would choose the target of their retaliation to be Sidhu Muswala, the most famous gangster rapper who had already dropped a song publicly, shouting out the gang that had killed their friend. So in the following days after May the 20th, Ninth, police would desperately try and piece together the evidence and find the fleeing group of shooters that killed Sidhu. And by early June, that investigation was well underway, with one single piece of evidence blowing the entire case wide open. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. 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 I
ਜੇ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਬਾਰੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕੋਈ ਗਾਈਜ਼ ਲਾਈਕ ਕਮੈਂਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਦੱਸਿਓ ਜੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕੁਝ ਹੋਰ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਬਾਰੇ ਡੀਪ ਪਤਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਐਂਡ ਲੀਡਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਆਨ ਅ ਕੈਟ ਮਾਊਸ ਚੇਸ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੂਟਰਸ ਆਲ ਅਕਰੋਸ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਦਾ ਫਰਸਟ ਪੀਸ ਆਫ ਐਵੀਡੈਂਸ ਵਾਸ ਫਾਉਂਡ 13 ਕਿਲੋਮੀਟਰਸ ਅਵੇ ਫਰਮ ਦਾ ਸੀਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਕਯਾਲਾ ਵਿਲੇਜ ਥਿਸ ਵਾਸ ਦੀ ਅਬੈਂਡਨਡ ਬਲੇਰੋ ਐਸਯੂਵੀ ਯੂਸਡ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੂਟਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਓਵਰਟੂਕ ਸਿਡੂ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਦਾ ਕਾਰ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਗੈਸ ਸਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਰਸੀਟ ਥਿਸ ਰਸੀਟ ਵਾਸ ਅਡਰੈਸਡ ਟੂ ਫਤਿਹਾਬਾਦ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਹਰਿਆਣਾ ਡਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਟ ਵਿਚ ਇਸ ਅਰਾਉਂਡ 320 ਕਿਲੋਮੀਟਰਸ ਸਾਊਥ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਰੀਜਨ ਆਨ ਦਾ ਸੇਮ ਡੇ ਸਿਕਿਉਰਿਟੀ ਫੁਟੇਜ ਵਾਸ ਅਬਟੇਨਡ ਬਾਈ ਲੋਕਲ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਫਰਮ ਦਾ ਗੈਸ ਸਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਨ ਹਰਿਆਣਾ ਥਿ ਫੁਟੇਜ ਵੁਡ ਸ਼ੋ ਦਾ ਬਲੇਰੋ ਐਸਯੂਵੀਜ਼ ਮੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਸ਼ੋਇੰਗ ਇਟ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਗੈਸ ਸਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਫਿਲਿੰਗ ਅਪ ਆਫਟਰ ਇਨਵੈਸਟੀਗੇਟਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਫੁਟੇਜ ਫਰਦਰ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਮੈਨੇਜ ਟੂ ਆਈਡੈਂਟੀਫਾਈ ਅ ਸਸਪੈਕਟ ਐਸ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੂਟਰ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਕੇਸ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਪ੍ਰਿਆ ਵਾਰੇ ਫਾਉਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਅ 19 ਯਰ ਓਲਡ ਨੇਮਡ ਐਂਕਿਟ ਸਰਸਾ ਫਰਮ ਦਾ ਸੋਨੀ ਪਾਟ ਵਿਲੇਜ ਬੋਥ ਵਰ ਆਈਡੈਂਟੀਫਾਈਡ ਐਸ ਸਸਪੈਕਟਡ ਸ਼ੂਟਰਸ ਹਰਿਆਣਾ ਦੇ ਐਮਸ ਐਂਡ ਔਨ ਦਾ 6th ਆਫ ਜੂਨ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਰਿਕਵਰਡ ਅਨਦਰ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਵਹੀਕਲਸ ਯੂਜ਼ਡ ਬਾਈ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੂਟਰਸ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਫਾਉਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਦਾ ਕਿਲਰਸ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਯੂਜ਼ਡ ਅਨਦਰ ਕਾਰ ਐਨ ਆਲਟੋ ਵਿਚ ਵਾਸ ਰੋਬਡ ਅਟ ਗਨ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਬਾਈ ਦਾ ਅਸੈਲੈਂਟਸ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਕਰੋਲਾ ਐਟ ਅ ਸਰਟਨ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਦੇ ਚੋਸ ਟੂ ਸਵਾਪ ਐਂਡ ਅਬੈਂਡਨ ਦਾ ਕਰੋਲਾ ਐਸ ਇਟ ਗੋਟ ਡੈਮੇਜਡ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਇਨਸੀਡੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਬ੍ਰੋਕ ਡਾਊਨ ਅਲਟੀਮੇਟਲੀ ਦਾ ਕਰੋਲਾ ਵਾਸ ਫਾਉਂਡ ਦ ਡੇ ਆਫਟਰ ਦਾ ਸਿਡੂਸ ਮਰਡਰ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਮੋਗਾ ਡਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਟ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਅਬੈਂਡਨਡ ਇਨ ਅ ਫੀਲਡ ਵਿਦ ਦਾ ਨੰਬਰ ਪਲੇਟਸ ਰਿਮੂਵਡ ਐਂਡ ਦੇਰ ਵਰ ਨੋ ਵੈਪਨਸ ਔਰ ਫਰਦਰ ਐਵੀਡੈਂਸ ਫਾਉਂਡ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਕਾਰ ਬਟ ਦਾ ਆਲਟੋ ਦੈਟ ਦੇ ਗੋਟ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਆਫਟਰ ਅਬੈਂਡਨਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਕਰੋਲਾ ਵਾਸ ਫਾਉਂਡ ਬਾਈ ਟ੍ਰੇਸਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਰੂਟ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਕਾਰ ਥਰੂ ਸੀਸੀਟੀਵੀ ਫੁਟੇਜ ਵਿਚ ਅਲਟੀਮੇਟਲੀ ਲੈਡ ਟੂ ਫਾਈਵ ਅਰੈਸਟਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਰਟੀਕਲਸ ਵਰ ਲੇਟਰ ਰਿਟਨ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਹਾਊ ਥਿਸ ਬੈਂਗਡ ਅਪ ਗੈਟਅਵੇ ਕਾਰ ਵੁਡ ਅਲਟੀਮੇਟਲੀ ਬੀ ਦਾ ਥਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਲੈਡ ਦਾ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਕਲਪਰਟਸ ਆਫਟਰ ਥੀਸ ਮੇਜਰ ਬ੍ਰੇਕਥਰੂਸ ਦਾ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਥੈਨ ਇੰਬਾਰਕਡ ਔਨ ਅ ਮੇਜਰ 21 ਡੇ ਆਪਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਟੂ ਕੈਪਚਰ ਦਾ ਕਿਲਰਸ ਸਟਾਰਟਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਦਾ 13th ਆਫ ਜੂਨ 2022 ਦਾ ਆਪਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਬਿਗਨ ਵੈਨ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਯੂਜ਼ ਟੈਕਨੀਕਲ ਸਰਵੇਲੈਂਸ ਟੂ ਅਸਟੈਬਲਿਸ਼ ਥੈਟ ਸਮ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੂਟਰਸ ਵਰ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਗੁਜਰਾਤ ਰੀਜਨ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਓਵਰ 1100 ਕਿਲੋਮੀਟਰਸ ਸਾਊਥ ਫਰਮ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਇਨਵੈਸਟੀਗੇਟਰਸ ਵਰ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਨਾਰੋ ਡਾਊਨ ਥੇਅਰ ਸਰਚ ਟੂ ਅ 3.5 ਮਾਈਲ ਰੇਡੀਅਸ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਮੁੰਡਰਪੁਰ ਏਰੀਆ ਵਿਚ ਐਵੈਂਚੁਅਲੀ ਲੈਡ ਥਮ ਟੂ ਬਾਰੋਇ ਵਿਲੇਜ ਬਾਰੋਇ ਇਜ਼ ਅਰਾਉਂਡ 2 ਕਿਲੋਮੀਟਰਸ ਫਰਮ ਦਾ ਲੋਕਲ ਸਿਟੀ ਵਿਦ ਅ ਪੋਪੂਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਅਰਾਉਂਡ 15000 ਪੀਪਲ ਥੇਅਰਫੋਰ ਸੀਕਿੰਗ ਆਊਟ ਥੇ ਕਿਲਰਸ ਵੁਡ ਪ੍ਰੂਵ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਮੋਰ ਡਿਫਿਕਲਟ ਥੈਨ ਅਸਿਊਮਡ ਇਨ ਸਚ ਅ ਰੂਰਲ ਵਿਲੇਜ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਫਾਉਂਡ ਥੇ ਸਸਪੈਕਟਸ ਹਡ ਰੈਂਟਡ ਅ ਰੂਮ ਇਨ ਬਾਰੋਇ ਯੂਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਫੇਕ ਆਈਡੀਸ ਥੇ ਪੋਸਟ ਐਸ ਮਾਈਗ੍ਰੈਂਟ ਵਰਕਰਸ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਥੇ ਲੋਕਲ ਪੋਰਟਸ ਵੁਡ ਆਫਟਨ ਸੀ ਲੋਟਸ ਆਫ ਮੈਨ ਫਰਮ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਰੀਜਨਸ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਓਵਰ ਫੋਰ ਵਰਕ ਥੇ ਇਨਵੈਸਟੀਗੇਟਰਸ ਵਰ ਥੈਨ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਨਾਰੋ ਡਾਊਨ ਥੇਅਰ ਸਰਚ ਟੂ ਲੋਕਲ ਰੂਮਸ ਥੇਟ ਹਡ ਬੀਨ ਰੈਂਟਡ ਰੀਸੈਂਟਲੀ ਇਨਵੈਸਟੀਗੇਟਰਸ ਵਰ ਆਲਸੋ ਅਵੇਅਰ ਆਫ ਥੇ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਕਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਫਾਈਲ ਆਫ ਥੇਅਰ ਸਸਪੈਕਟਸ ਸਚ ਐਸ ਥੇਅਰ ਹਾਈਟ ਐਂਡ ਬਿਲਡ ਨਾਓ ਇੰਟਰਸਟਿੰਗਲੀ ਐਵਰੇਜ ਹਾਈਟ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਡਿਫਰਸ ਫਰਮ ਰੀਜਨ ਟੂ ਰੀਜਨ ਇਨ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਡਿਊ ਟੂ ਥੇ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਸਾਈਜ਼ ਆਫ ਥੇ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਪੀਪਲ ਫਰਮ ਸਰਟਨ ਏਰੀਆਸ ਆਰ ਜਸਟ ਟੋਲਰ ਥੈਨ ਅਦਰ ਪੀਪਲ ਫਰਮ ਅਦਰ ਏਰੀਆਸ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਥਿੰਗ ਸੋ ਥੇ ਟੀਮ ਆਫ ਇਨਵੈਸਟੀਗੇਟਰਸ ਵਰ ਸਟਰਗਲਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਪਿਨ ਡਾਊਨ ਥੇ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਰੂਮ ਇਨ ਥੇ ਵਿਲੇਜ ਥੇਟ ਥੇ ਗੈਂਗ ਵਰ ਹਾਈਡਿੰਗ ਆਊਟ ਇਨ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਥੇ ਵਰ ਵਰਕਿੰਗ ਫਰਮ ਅ ਟ
police moved on to the next targets, Ankit Sursa and Sashin Biwani. They believed that the two were in Chandigarh due to cell phone data. They knew that the police were tracing them, and they moved incredibly cautiously when using their phones, only switching them on for limited time after using public transport and changing their location each time, limiting the scope for the police to trace their whereabouts. काफी काफी ऐसी चीजें नॉलेज है जरी लाइक अज तक मैं पर्सनली उस चीज बारे नहीं पढ़े हैं जैसा but eventually, the pair were traced to a bus station in Delhi on the 3rd of July, where they were arrested. Ankit Sursa was just 19 years old, and when investigating the suspect's phones, the police found an image of Ankit Sursa posing with his pistol, sat behind a collection of bullets that spelt out the name Muswala, with mm. newspaper headlines later describing him as a desperate shooter. It was found that Sursa fired six rounds at Sidhu from two pistols, and he had been the one who had got closest to the rapper in the shooting. But that image of him with the bullets wasn't the only damning evidence found on their phones, as a video from the day of the shooting was later brought to light, showing that the gang of shooters sat together in their car, posing with the pistols, waving the murder weapons around, proudly laughing about the situation. Allegedly, this video had been sent to Goldie Bra. The video was even posted and deleted to Sursa's Instagram account, a classic example of how self-snitching exists even in India. <laughs> These are the attackers of the late Punjabi singer Sidhu Museva. Car, the front seat of the car wearing a checked shirt, does involve arrested by the special other shooter who is being arrested as in the Sidhu. Doing a day out to the beach together and posing for the cameras apparently in celebration of pulling off the murder. Finally, following months, several encounters would go down between the Bishnoi gang and the police, such as the four hour long standoff with Punjab police that resulted in a group being killed, which included others that had apparently been involved in the murder of Sidhu. And there would be multiple Bishnoi associates arrested internationally. Two more suspects in Sidhu's murder were arrested in Kenya and Azerbaijan. Okay. But even more crazy, in 2023, India Today managed to interview Goldie Bra himself where he still admits to having had Sidhu killed. I'm going to cut across to this very breaking news, in fact. Goli Brad, while speaking to India today, has also spoken about Musewala, Sidhu Musewala. He's admitted <laughs> that he was the one uh, who got Sidhu Musewala killed, gangster Goli. The conversation to issue number two, Sidhu, Tim, Kiwen, Sidhu, Tim, the mother. Sidhu, as an egotistic, spoiled person who had more money and power than necessary, suggesting that he had misused his influence on the police. Brass mistakes were un- Who had more than necessary political power, police power, which was misused. It was necessary to teach him a lesson. He was taught a lesson, that's all. Yes, he has done some personal harm to us. He has made such mistakes which were not worthy of forgiveness. Despite many of the actual shooters on the hit being captured or killed by the police, the self-professed mastermind of the hit, Goldie Bra, remains free and on the run from murder charges, with rumours as recent as May 2024 that he might have been gunned down in California. But these rumours turned out not to be true, and to this day, he still remains at large. Oh shit. Tiga. This is the whole story. This is the story of Siddhu Musayala. How did he change the hip-hop? We'll see it in the next part. Okay. 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 Okay.